In 2021, the Miami Dolphins' group of pass catchers left something to be desired, as Jalen Waddell and Mike Jasicki were really the only guys consistently performing. Devontae Parker, who has been with the Dolphins for seven seasons, played in just 10 games due to injuries, and he was limited when he was on the field. Now, with Miami trading for Tyreek Hill and signing guys like Cedric Wilson Jr. and Trent Sherfield, many are wondering whether or not Parker is destined to be moved before the start of the season. We've already seen the Dolphins make a couple of moves, like converting Byron Jones' salary to a bonus and restructuring Clayton Figidellum to create cap space. Moving on from Parker would save the Dolphins $3.3 million this season and would obviously completely take him off their books for 2023 when he was expected to account for a $9 million cap hit. A number of trades have been made this offseason for wide receivers. This offseason alone, the Kansas City Chiefs traded Hill, the Los Angeles Rams traded Robert Woods, the Green Bay Packers traded Devontae Adams, and the Dallas Cowboys traded Amari Cooper. These may give us an idea of what Parker would be worth in a trade. Woods is probably the closest to these wide receivers to Parker's talent, and he was traded for a sixth-round pick. However, it's important to note that Woods is set to make more this season and is coming off of a torn ACL. With that being said, Woods has been more productive than Parker, and it's not like Parker hasn't had injury concerns of his own. At this point, it feels like Parker would be worth more but not a whole lot more. Miami may be able to get a mid-round pick for the wideout. If they got a third, they'd probably be lucky. It feels more likely that they could receive a fourth or fifth round selection.